name is J.R. Holmes. I'm a police officer here in Bloomington, Indiana. Usual routine, wake up, get dressed, you know, get ready. I enjoy working out or you know, staying athletic, so I'll either go riding on my bicycle or go work out in the gym. Um, I just I try and stay active, especially in the morning, because given the type of schedule that I have in my job, um, anything physical or anything athletic related, I have to kind of do in the morning because I get off pretty late. for just under three years now. Each call is always different than the one that he went on last. Um, you kind of have no idea what to expect when you go to work. Uh, every day before we get in our cars, we just do a daily inspection, make sure there aren't any dents, things, make sure all the lights are working, things like that. All good. As you can see, we have a lot of things, a lot of equipment inside the cars. We have a lot of radios. Um, our main radio is our radio for dispatch, um, which is who you call when you're calling 911, um, which is this radio right here. We also have a radio for um, the hospital or the ambulance, so we can hear all the emergency calls coming out, uh, as well as the fire department. Uh, this right here is just our siren control panel. It controls the lights and sirens of the, of the vehicle. Um, well, it looks like this car has an expired plate, so we're going to go ahead and stop them. Um, usually before I stop anybody, I try and think of a location that I'm going to stop them at before I go ahead and actually turn my emergency lights on. Uh, so in this case, we're at about 10th and Indiana. So basically what I'm going to do is um, advise dispatch that I'm going to make a traffic stop and let them know where I'm at and what kind of car it is. Blue 15, 27, symbol 27. Four four three Charles Frank Davis on a green Honda Accord. So now we'll just wait till the light turns green again. somebody else this is just a friend that's borrowing it um, so right now basically what I did was identified him with his license got the registration of the vehicle um, we're gonna go ahead and make sure he has a valid license um, actually run the plates um, see if they're valid or not but some of the things that you want to pay attention to on a traffic stop or you always want to keep your eyes on the driver uh, pay attention to the movements that they're doing because you don't know if they're a threat or not 
Um, you also want to be aware of your surroundings. Any person that's walking up to your vehicle or anybody that's kind of coming up to your vehicle as you're on your traffic stop. 1527 Rolex. Negative Rolex. Um, so what I did right there was just ran a local warrant check to make sure they don't have any warrants. And then we're going to give him his information back. Just a property damage type accident, there aren't any injuries, you can go ahead and grab all their information, such as their license, registration, and insurance and uh, you complete a, an accident report for them, which is basically an exchange of information form. If uh, the amount of damage between both cars are pretty significant, then we'll also do a state report, which is uh, a computerized accident report uh, that the um, insurance companies can use for the accident. He's smart man tells them about what their emergency is. Um, at that point, there's usually two people um, on the main dispatch system, so you're going to have your call taker taking a call, um, who then inputs it into the computer, and then you'll have the dispatch person that's actually talking to the police officers that will take that call and dispatch it out to us. Um, after that, it's, once it's dispatched out to us, then we're obviously going to go and respond to it. 425 East Kirkwood, two females, a black female and a white female, or in a verbal disturbance. 425 East Kirkwood. Just two females, two females arguing inside Panda Express, so we're going to go ahead and go down there and check out what's going on. Fourth and one, I don't right. Um, well, you just think about what you need to get done. You don't worry about uh, the negative aspects of the call. You just concentrate on what your job is and what you need to do um, to either contain the situation or fix it. You're there for each other regardless of how you feel about each other. Um, so definitely it's, it's like a brotherhood because we would um, pretty much do anything for each other while we're on the job and even out of the job too. We had the little battery that happened on Kirkwood. Uh, had a few traffic stops and a few welfare checks. So overall it stayed pretty steady, especially for a Sunday. Um, but now we're getting ready to pull in the station, clean out the car, and then hand the keys off to night shift so they can go ahead and get on the road too. Yeah, they're definitely normal people. Um, as soon as they take the uniform off, you know, we know that they're a police officer because they dress and they do things that every other person in society 